Do you know the difference between pH and total alkalinity? A lot of us don't. I'm going to try to explain it to you in a way that is easy and simple to understand. So pH is a scale and pH actually stands for the power of hydrogen. All it is is the concentration of hydrogen ions in any given substance. It's on a logarithmic scale, which means the difference between each whole number, say six and seven, is a factor of 10. So that means from seven to eight, it's 10 times more alkaline, okay? But from seven to nine, it's 100 times more alkaline. Seven is neutral drinking water. That's where we want to drink. It's even, it's not acidic nor basic. Trichlor in a swimming pool has a pH of roughly three. That's 10,000 times more acidic than neutral water. Think about that, 10,000 times more acidic. So that's pH, it's a scale to measure on. On the other side, we have total alkalinity. This is not measured on a pH scale. Total alkalinity is actually measured in parts per million. The whole purpose of adding alkaline products is to neutralize acid. You want these things in your water because it helps your water resist change in pH. But you don't wanna go crazy on it because if your alkalinity is too high, your pH stays high and your chlorine is inefficient because chlorine is more effective at a lower pH. So on the one hand, you have dissolved carbonates, bicarbonates, and hydroxides, which is total alkalinity. And on the other side, you have the pH scale. I'm Eric Knight with Arenda. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or comment in the links below. Thank you.